Hey, back, it's me, and, and in today's video, well, I've got this. It's come through post. So, um, I know exactly what it is. It's a CD, yeah, and um, I'll open it up, and we'll talk about it. Right. So, should be able to get into it, I hope. Easy. Oh, right. I think we've got that. Huh? Yep, brilliant, a fantastic. Yep, it looks all right. So it is the third studio album from 1974 of Queen, which is Sheer Heart Attack. Um, now Queen, I've got an interesting relationship with Queen. Um, this was an album my brother had, and I used to hear this a lot, and I rather like this one. Um. But I've never been really a big Queen fan. I, in my collection, I've got the greatest hits. Um, but I always thought, oh, Queen, too much for me. You know, I don't know. Everybody was thinking, saying they're the greatest group ever. And I think Bohemian Rhapsody had a lot to do with that. Um, but, you know, when you get older, I've always had quite wide range of music and my range of music seems to have got even wider now i like all sorts of things and i was thinking about this i thought well i used to enjoy it when my brother played so i might as well get it so i've got it and um I, this is the period where queen were really quite much heavier the first three albums and this is the last one um a very sort of more heavy rock and uh, though I think this is beginning to get more of that Queen sound because the next album, of course, is Night of the Opera, which is the one that took them into the stratosphere of stardom and all that stuff. Um, but it, it, it is interesting how you, over time, change um, your feelings about music. Um, it is, of course, Killer Queen, which is a great song. I always liked that one. Um, it, it's just, I always, you know, I've got the, uh, say, Greatest Hits, and, um, funny enough, the second one, which is the, some of the later ones, is interesting, because I didn't, some of the songs are more, not quite what I expected, I think, with Queen. Um, uh, they're an interesting group, which become a bit more fascinating, that I should perhaps delve into a bit more. But I've always, as the, there's always sometimes a reaction. Like people going on about the greatest thing. Sometimes part of me goes, hey, Bayek, um, what's all this about? It's over top, you know. And But now, you know, I think, well, you should try all sorts of things. And as I say, I know my, my brother was a bigger Queen fan than I was. And he had this one. And as I say, I played it. Uh, I mean, I listened to it when he was playing it on and you kind of get it gets into you, but it, it was always one of the heavy ones, and it is the album before, let's say, the big one. So um, I'm looking forward to revisiting this album, um, and as I say, never be afraid to change your opinion about things. Well, same with music, uh, films and music. Music, I, wh why sort of be restrained what everybody else says or does, and part of me has always rebelled against um things but then i think i'm a daft sod so why don't i just go with the flow and see if i really make me own mind about things and i have done on this i thought yeah i'll really enjoy it and i'm not afraid to say that you can change your mind about music you know it's a good discussion area about how we change life's too short you know the older you get you think God, uh, you know, let's just enjoy everything in life, you know. Always think of that, you know. And uh, don't be put off by what other people say, other people's opinions. Go with your own opinion. Go with what you feel you like, you know. 
and it may be fashionable or not fashionable it doesn't matter none of that comes into it it's all as i always tell everybody i'm a preacher man it's all about the music it is it isn't you know i mean i know we i'm going on to a whole thing about i can see why people go mad about vinyl records it's not about the music which is fine it's about the work of art as they see it that's that's what it is that it that's the collector but if you're into music, then this is great. I love CDs, as you know. This is fine. And don't, as I said, don't be afraid to go back to things that perhaps you dismissed in the past um, and things in the future that you think, oh, yeah, I'll try that, you know. And I'm into a musical journey of liking lots of things. And I saw this, it was cheap. And I thought, well, I should go for it. So I have done. Um, and um, it's great. Um, nice. Look at this. There we are. Look at that. Fantastic. See, I don't know what I'm doing half the time on these unboxings. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm really pleased to have got this. And um, it'll add, I'll put it against the greatest hits. And who knows? Who knows? More albums may start to filter in. I don't know. Depends what mood I'm in. Yeah, I mean the greatest hits aren't good. I'm, I'm just too, I think there's even I mean, third one, but um, I've got two of them, and um, I think they're quite good. Um, and so this this could be worth trying. Yeah, I think that's it really. I've gone on too much, but I always say it's all about the music. Enjoy, and there ends my preaching lesson. Yes, <laughs> great. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and um, let you know when I put out these videos. Look in playlists, you see I do all sorts of music, but I do a lot more on films and TV. Um, and that, that's it really. But And I say, if you like this particular video, if you really enjoy this video, please give it a like. If you give it a like, it gets it out to YouTube and then other people might enjoy it or you know, who knows? But if you, and also, if you've got any comments, please put your comments down. I love to read your comments and I'll always reply. So that's it. So all I've got to say is, I'll see thee. I'll see thee again.